How's it going you guys? It's Scott with Everyday Home Repairs and I made a couple videos lately which were comparing residential versus commercial outlets, more properly called receptacles and light switches. And a lot of comments came in, really engaged comment section and I really appreciate everybody's feedback. And one common thread that kept coming up is people asking for a comparison all the way up to hospital grade, which would be kind of your top of the line receptacle. So. I ordered a couple of those and that's what we're gonna do today. So I got back out the commercial receptacle that we cut open and talked about in the last video. And if you haven't seen that, it's a comparison right here, residential versus commercial uh, for receptacles made by Leviton. Now we're gonna compare that commercial and step all the way up to this beast, which is a hospital grade, quite a bit uh, heavier, 65 grams compared to 95 grams. So that's about a 45% higher weight. You can just feel it in the hospital grade. And also obviously the cost, commercial uh, being about $2, hospital grade stepping up to about $6. But I know you're interested mostly into the internals. What can we actually see there and what makes the difference and why the difference? Most of the differences of the hospital grade are driven by the additional testing that it has to pass. So we'll also talk a little bit about what testing does a hospital grade outlet have to pass and why. So let's flip the camera around and take a closer look. All right, there's three main features that we'll go over today. First, we'll talk about just the screw terminals and wiring in general and any of the features between commercial to hospital grade. Then we'll talk more about the contacts that we opened up here and kind of the internals between commercial and hospital grade. And then finally finish up with just the housings themselves and the differences between commercial and the hospital grade. So right away you can, if you compare side by side, the screws themselves are much larger on the hospital grade. The plates, the retaining plates for back wiring are much larger. And one thing I really like on the hospital grade is the built-in separation in the housing. So if you're back wiring, it's going to hold separate each of those wires within the housing. Now that kind of separation for the commercial is actually built into the plate itself. Now both of these have back wire. Remember, back wiring is not equivalent to the dreaded push pins, right? Backstabbing uh, that you'll find on a, a cheap residential. So this is, from my opinion, and actually many people within the comments, an acceptable way to wire and to save you some time is to use the back wiring and utilize those plates that are built in there. Now we also have that back wiring on the ground for the hospital grade. You do not have that on the commercial, All right? I'm not gonna to touch much, but in terms of the yokes and kind of this cradle design, both commercial and hospital grade have pretty similar designs. Now I will say the hospital grades, probably because of the housing integration as well, is more rigid. But again, I think that's a combination of the housing and the, the yoke itself, not just the yoke. All right, so from a, a wiring perspective, there is some advantages on the hospital grade. Uh, obviously, I mean, it's, a, it's $6 as opposed to $2, so you'd expect to see some differences. Now looking at the actual internal contacts themselves. It looks like the hospital grade has this, remember these are 15 amps. So I'm not really talking about whether you should use 15 amps or 20 amps. Uh, that can be a fairly engaged conversation. Uh, but here, I'm just being consistent because I've used 15 amps in the past as well. But it looks like the internal contacts for the hospital grade could could it be used for 15 or 20 amp because you could have the horizontal blade and also vertical design. So that looks like this design would be the same for a 20 amp as it is for this 15 amp. And then most of the features you see here, like on the ground plug, you just have two pieces of flat metal that would sandwich the ground plug here on the commercial grade. You have quite a bit more design and more of a a sloped spring designed for the hospital grade. I believe this is because the additional drop testing, they do quite a few different cycles where you have to drop and yank a plug out of the hospital grade, and then it needs to be able to hold 
So you, you would be able to flip it over and put a four ounce plug in there and actually hang it and it has to hold that for one minute. So it has to be able to hold the plug after going through kind of the gauntlet of tests. So this design is made to uh, take a lot more abuse. There's another a test that is an oversized test where you put a larger than standard plug in here repeatedly, and then it has to hold that same four ounce weight again. So a lot of attention is went for the hospital grade uh, on the ground portion of that. Other than that, I mean, I like the design of this commercial, uh, especially when I compare it to the residential that we looked at uh, in the past video. And now coming into the housing. So a lot of attention, a lot of the weight comes to the housing. You can see this housing does have some integrated features that would help to, that would help to isolate those screw terminals from say a box and try to reduce the chance of any shorting. Uh, also, just in the housing itself, it's much thicker. Now with the housing being orange here, that really is just being used. Orange on hospital grade, I believe, is, is to indicate that these receptacles would be powered uh, in a power outage. So it'd be on emergency power, and then you can trust that this outlet would be powered and you can plug in, let's say, life-saving equipment, and it's just easy to recognize. So you can get these in standard white, it's just you'll see a lot of them are orange because they're on emergency, the emergency power circuit. And then the integration between the top cover and bottom is much better. There's, there's additional tabs and structural components from the yoke that integrate into the top, the top portion of the housing. Now that's because of all the additional drop testing. So the hospital grade has to go through where you have the yoke mounted and it's just hanging, and then 100 pounds of force is pressed upon the top faceplate, and there can't be any permanent deformation. Additionally, it goes through, I think it's a five pound drop test where you're gonna drop, repeatedly drop an object on top of the plate uh, where it's mounted into an actual fixture, a box. And again, it can't have any uh, permanent damage. So this top housing is much thicker, much heavier, uh, and it's just integrated in the overall design to take those additional impact loads and just uh, force to that front plate. So those were the differences that I saw between the commercial grade and the hospital grade. I'm sure there's something I missed, and if you guys have other experience, jump down in the comments and let me know. To get the links to exactly what, which outlets these were, you can look in the description of this video and I'll have links to both of those different receptacles. And before you take off, don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we have multiple videos coming out per week to help you guys with repairs and improvements around your house. And we'll catch you on the next one. Take care.